Okay, so in this video, I want to try to use fuzzy match to clean up some data we have here. So just to give you an idea what I'm trying to clean, I'm not going to worry about dates and numbers in this case. They're a lot easier to deal with. But I want to talk about this particular column where we have salespeople. So what's going on here, if I open this, you'll see that we have these people and like, for example, if you look Jack, there are two different variations for Jack. There is one with a comma, one with no comma. If I go here, see there's Jeff and Jeffrey, that's the same person, or Jerry Jefferson, there are multiple variations of the person. So there are all of these different spellings of these different names. And this is Woods Jesse, and it's possible there's like, see there's Jesse Woods, so there are all of these different variations and we would like to clean this up as much as possible so that if we try to do some sort of analysis, like for example, if I do a pivot table out of this and look at this sales reps and try to see how many we have by putting in values, how many sales. See, because of that inconsistent data, we have all of these things happening that it's not really grouped correctly and we're having issues analyzing this data. So I'm going to delete that and let's try to address this with fuzzy match as much as humanly possible, I guess. So I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to go under data and I'm going to basically just make a connection to my power query here by doing from table range. Hmm. It's trying to connect to the wrong table. Let me just discard this, it's picking up some sort of filter here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do to go around that problem, I'm first gonna convert this to a table by insert table. And then now hopefully if we do this, it should be fine. So I'm gonna do on this again from table range and we're back in business. All right, good, so we have this. So I don't want to concentrate on the rest of these columns, just this one column. So I'm gonna right click and do remove other columns so that we just have that one column. And the first thing I want to do, I just wanna remove duplicates in the current state to make sure I see what's going on in this column, how many variations we actually have total. So I'm gonna right click and remove duplicates. And depending on how many you have left, this is where you're gonna find out how much extra work you have to do. And just remember that you have to have realistic expectations. This is probably not gonna be an easy task. But in my case, I only have like 32 different variations with all of these misspellings. So the more variations you have here, the tougher it's gonna be to fix that situation. But for now, I'm just gonna take this and rename this, this is called table one. I'm just gonna say unique list. That's gonna be my connection. I'm gonna open this panel on the left and I'm gonna duplicate this a second time. I'm gonna right click and duplicate. And it by default made it list two, I'm fine with that. So you can rename this one too if you wanted to. So now I have two lists that I'm working with, which is basically the same list twice. So for now, I'm just gonna load to a connection. So now I have those two connections that I loaded here, which is basically just this column with duplicates removed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click on one of them and do merge. And I'm gonna merge it to the second list. And here, instead of doing a regular match, I'm gonna move to fuzzy match. And we can set some sort of similarity percentage. So by default, it's set to 80%. You can lower this or higher this, depending on what you need. So you may have to try different settings. I'm gonna try to go a little lower than 80, so 0 0.7. And I'm gonna go ahead and ignore case sensitivity. That's fine. And I'm gonna select these columns on top so we can show which column we're actually matching. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay to see what we get. So we have these two. I'm gonna go ahead and expand the second one. 
And you'll see what happened here is that I have now all these options with some other possible options next to it. See, there is the perineal, there is this one variation, perineal, there is this other variation. I have this one. So there are now all of these different options. So as you can see, a lot more rows than I had before. So let's just sort this by this sales rep column for a second. And once this is sorted, I'm gonna go ahead and load this back to Excel. So let's just rename this. Let's just call this mapping table. Close and load, close and load. That should create a new table for us here. I'm gonna unlink this from that connection by clicking on this unlink. And now we need to do a little bit of manual work here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look through this and in here, when I see basically it's the same person, like for example, like this person and this person should be the same thing. It's just replaced in different ways. I'm just gonna grab the first one on the left in the first column and drag that down to just replicate the same thing, just like this. Then I'm gonna go over this really quickly. Like this one, I'm gonna grab the first one, keep scrolling down until I get through that list. And this is where I said, depending on how many you have, this is gonna be longer or shorter time. So if you want a specific way, you can just type your own way. I don't really care. I'm just gonna grab the first one for each variation and just drag it down in the first column. See, we have Woods Jesse, Jesse Woods. Again, I'm just gonna grab and drag the first one. Julio. So as you can see, it actually did a pretty good job getting the matching names together. So some of these, like this one, we already had above, right? We had them happening. But I'm just going to continue with this even though we had them. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm just going to rename these columns. I'm going to call this second column lookup and this first column results. Because this is where I have these variations that I'm now narrowing down to one. So once I have this, I'm going to move this back to my from table range to a connection because I had it unlinked before. So now this is that mapping table I just created. So I'm gonna load this back, close and load two, and just create a connection out of it. So now using this mapping table, I want to basically just get all these results in the correct order. So let's see how well we can make this happen. So I'm gonna take this table again and make one more connection, a fresh one out of it. And in this connection, I'm just going to go merge and do this first one. And I'm gonna use that second table as my second mapping table. I don't remember which one it is out of these two. I have to go check. So okay, it was mapping table with an underscore, the last one. So I'm gonna go back and do this again. And I'm gonna choose that lookup column as the column I want to merge this on. And I'm gonna choose this sales rep column in our first table. So with this, I don't want to just do all these multiple matches because we have more than one match. So to go around this thing, I'm gonna do the fuzzy match again and just change the fuzzy match options to one, which means it should be 100% the same. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna say, oh, you know what? That's not the right one, this one, similarity. It should be one to be 100%. And then at the same time, I would like to only get maximum number of results, one. So I only just want the first match, basically. That's what I'm saying. So one here, one here. So with this, I'm gonna press okay. And let's just open this and I'm gonna just go to this results column only and press okay. 
So let's drag that over to the left next to our sales rep column. Now, one thing we want to make sure this should amount to the same number of rows we have in our data. So we'll check that in just a second if that's true or not. But for now, why don't we just load this back to Excel? So I'm going to call this new table and just go close and load and close and load. And close and load this time because I don't want this to be a connection. I want it to be a new table. So let me just rename this really quickly. So let's just check how many records we have here. So if I do control down, well, not a good column for that. Let's do this one. We have 20,001, so 20,000 records in the new table. Let's go to our original data. So there should be the same number of records. There it is. That's a good sign. So now let's go check if we were able to narrow this down to a nicer results column. So I'm going to go here and take a look. And I'm not sure about you, but I can't find any duplicates anymore. I think we did a pretty good mapping here with at least those results. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly make a pivot table out of this just to see what this looks like. So I'm going to take that new column that's now called mapping table results. If you remember here, which you should probably rename and make it something better. And then I'll just grab it over here just to get the total count. And there we go. So if you find that you did this and you missed some things, you can still go back to your mapping table that you did and which is this, let's just rename this and fix it up if necessary. But you can see because of that, that I only picked the first match, even though I have these repeating in the bottom, it doesn't matter because it's just going to find the first matching option from here and pick whatever's on the left. So we end up getting the unique values that we need to match that person. So that way, when I did that fuzz, imagine I did one to one, that took care of that situation. And now we have cleaner data. Now, like I said, that whole process, when you have to go through this and drag it down, like the way I was doing it, it's going to take longer or shorter, depending on how many variations you have. But this process should still cut the time you would spend over going each individual one and fixing that by quite a bit. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.